Water Signs Collectively. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the UK. Welcome to the Goddess Palace. Thank you guys for growing the family. I appreciate all the love, all the likes, all the shares, all the comments. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys are amazing. I went ahead and made my own deck, y'all. Okay, I was in my little creative energy, setting my little intentions. And I, I wanna, I've wanna. i been doing readings with these, with this deck. I'm not going to lie. And I've been, like, one point. Okay? So we're going to see what's going on for the next three days for you guys. Go ahead and follow me on IG at the real idea, okay? I have my love oils, clarity oils, prosperity, protection kits. I also have my bundles as well. If you guys are interested, okay? Feminine washes, goddess sugar scrubs, all that good stuff, body butters. And we're going to get into it. All right, so we're going to see what's going on with my water signs for the next three days. If you are in his house, go ahead and like this video. Hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications for you. All right, so we're going to see what's going on with my water signs, my water signs, collectively, okay, thank you, sir, welcome to Mother, Father, Holy Spirit, in this place at this time, thank you, what are the messages, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, for the next three days, thank you, for the next three days. Okay, so water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, collectively, you guys can be dealing with an Aries individual, fall can be significant of this year, or fall, August, um, sorry, September through October of last year, or September through October of this year is going to be significant, spring, we're in springtime now, so this can be very significant. For you, fall talks about um, letting things go, allowing things to fall, right? But spring is like a renewal, so you guys can be going through that. Capricorn and Aquarius, okay? So, so you guys could definitely be dealing with these energies, or you can have these energies in your chart. So, let's get into it. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, collectively. What are the messages? Thank you. What are the messages? Thank you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, collectively. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. The bottom of the deck. Home. Okay. Some of you guys can be having conversations about your home, about your stability. Some of you guys can be um, feeling very familiar, really closely connected to somebody where they feel like home, they resonate with you, like they're, you're very comfortable. You feel secure, you feel safe around them as well, okay? So let's see what's going on, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, collectively. What are the messages? Thank you, Spirit. All right. Okay. So I feel like someone could definitely be controlling when it comes to money. All right, stability. All right. I feel like the control comes out as like manipulation. So some of you guys can be involved with the person that's doing mental manipulation or you could be the person that's doing this mental manipulation. But someone's trying to control the situation, trying to control money, okay? It's like someone is also being selfish or stingy as well. But I'm also thinking someone doesn't want to share. Okay? I'm also thinking some of you guys can also have be receiving your stimulus as well. But I feel like someone's trying to dictate or control that is what I'm getting. But Because I'm getting like 
it's like whatever money you're getting, I feel like you're having to pay that out in the next two to five days, okay? I'm also getting, I'm sorry I hurt you. So someone theft, someone stole. You stole somebody's money or someone took your money here because I said, I'm sorry I hurt you. Someone could have drained your finances as well. As well, you could be dealing with somebody who's draining your finances now, okay? But I'm also getting, this could have been a past situation or something that you're going back to because the replay is like someone's coming back, someone's going back, okay? But I feel like someone's like too much to handle. Someone feels like it's a burden. You're feeling like someone's a burden. Like, Either someone feels looks at you like a burden, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or you're looking at somebody else like a burden because they're chewing up your money. It's like a whole bunch of losses here. But I'm also getting apologies. So some of you guys can be apologizing like, I'm sorry I hurt you. To take a risk. Some of you guys can be taking a risk here. I love you. I had to let you go. Some of you guys, it's like some of you guys took a risk here. You guys may have went towards somebody because of money and stability. And now it's kind of like you're realizing that maybe you've made the, right, the wrong decision. Excuse me, because the spark is like a quick decision. Someone made a, a decision in haste when it came to a, dis, a relationship. Okay, so again, this is in the next three days, okay? So some of you guys can be getting some type of losses. Or this is like whoever you're dealing with sexually or connecting with. Uh, it's like some of you guys feel burdened by a situation. Some of you guys want to take, uh, take a risk. I miss you. It's like you miss somebody. Okay, someone misses you. I'm sorry I hurt you. It's like you're you you you're saying I'm sorry I hurt you, or it's like you're trying you want forgiveness here. I love you. I had to let you go. It's kind of like someone had to walk away to find their own strength, or you had to walk away. Someone walked away here because they felt like that was the best decision. But I'm also getting Scorpio Cancer Pisces. You feel like somebody's home. You feel comfortable. You feel good with them. So some of you guys are are trying to figure out. How to either, how to get out of a situation with a past person that's very controlling. Or you guys can be realizing your own controlling ways when it comes to money or stability. And it's time for you to take a risk here. Because I feel like a lot of you guys feel like there's a lot going on. But you have a connection with somebody. You like somebody a lot. Maybe you guys are separated, not communicating. You guys maybe not speaking. Or maybe you guys have choppy communication. Okay? But it's like you really miss somebody and you want somebody to know that. Okay, but you're wanting to express how you feel is what I'm getting like, yeah, because the spark is like fireworks. So some of you guys may have felt fireworks when you guys were talking, holding hands, kissing, whatever the case may be. It's like a, a connection here. All right. Let's see what's going on. This can be somebody like the spark is also like new. This could be somebody new, but I'm also getting there's something from the past. So this could have been somebody that's new and somebody that's from your past as well. Release. So some of you guys are needing to release something, release a past person, okay, out in the cold, okay, someone you guys may be feeling out in the cold, like someone may have stopped talking to you, you may have stopped talking to somebody, someone feels like like they're not a part of something, they're not a part of your life, or you're not a part of somebody's life, okay, you've been coming in my dreams, overthinking, so you guys definitely been thinking about this person, you guys both been thinking about each other, but I feel like you guys are releasing there's a need for release. There's a need for a release of the old here. You're my one and only manifesting intention. You guys are definitely manifesting somebody. You're manifesting a relationship, a partnership. You guys can also be manifesting some type of ideas as well. But I definitely feel like you're expressing yourself. It's like you guys may have been in a situation where you didn't know how to express yourself. But then you met somebody who showed you how to express yourself. And you're like, oh my God, I really want to be with them even though... You guys might be in another situation. Some of you guys can also be single and it's like your past is coming back here. And some of you guys are wanting to take a risk on somebody else. But I'm also thinking some of you guys are definitely speaking how you feel. Like it's like the truth is coming out. Some of you guys are speaking your truth here. Like some, some of you guys have been dreaming about this person. Or you can't stop thinking about this person. But it's like it's like love or it's like it's like you feel like you had to walk away from this person. But then you're realizing like all you do is think about this person. Okay, so maybe some of you guys are trying to manifest something or you're trying to go forward and figure out how you can make this person your one and only because that's how y'all feel. All right, so peace on the light. I love you guys like I love myself.